as a writer? Uh, we uh, worked at uh, Studio Lab. Uh, Rita was in a couple of their productions, and I wrote uh, a children's play. Mm -hmm. um, that was Ernie Schwartz, uh, he, who was the director in those days. They did yeah. a notorious play called uh, uh, Dionysus in 69. And um, then uh, Rita auditioned for the uh, Globe Theater in Regina, the school uh, company, and um, was hired. And so she uh, is one of those comedians that I put, he, she put me in the trunk of the car and, uh, and hauled me out to Regina with her. Um, and uh, Ken and Sue Kramer were the, director of the uh, directors of the uh, Globe Theatre in Regina. And uh, at some point they said, well, well they, uh, they heard that I was a Baptist minister, so they didn't quite know what to expect. But, uh, <laughs> anyway, they said that I was uh, uh, considered myself a playwright. Uh, why don't I write a play for them? So I wrote mm -hmm. a children's play for the school company mm -hmm. called The Adventures of Nickle, Niddle Pickle and the Ticky Plum Soup. Mm -hmm. You can see that this was a very uh, a cute play. I thought yeah. that plays were, for kids were supposed to be cute. Right. And uh, it, had a, it had a song in it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we're fish bubble bubble, fish bubble bubble, swimming with glee bubble bubble. <laughs> but, uh, that's <laughs> very good. That's, oh, you like that's, my voice? Yeah. I do oh, like your yes, voice. I, wow. <laughs> wonderful. Watch out, uh, watch I, watch out I, Madonna. I should have become a, <laughs> watch out I should have become a singer. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, the, uh, uh, they looked at it and they asked me, well, this is not exactly what we had in mind. Hmm. Uh, and they asked me if I could write another one because if you're going to have a Canadian playwright uh, writing for you, why not do something that is a little bit more relevant? Yeah. And you have to understand also that the, the Globe Theatre um, was uh, set, well, Saskatchewan, you know, is sort of like the home of socialism. And, my political awareness got uh, raised when I was there. And um, mm -hmm. I, uh, uh, I remember going out to see the school company and there was a, a small, it was a small town, a one grain elevator town. Right. And um, there was tumbleweed blowing down the streets and the signs were creaking and, um, and I, I couldn't find the, find the the school but it there weren't very many streets in that sound so finally I, did, uh, <clears throat> I found it and I, I walked down the hallway and I heard the sound of laughing and uh, went in and there the children were in a circle around the actors and uh, the play was uh, called the hat by uh, Brian way uh, he uh, was sort of the father of participational theater in, mm -hmm. in Britain and mm -hmm. uh, Ken and Sue had studied with him um, and they, uh, so it was magical, you know, these actors in costumes and yeah. hats and things and children just really into it and being willing to contribute to the action. Yeah. Um, and and then I walked out that. and I looked at the sky and the weather going, coming in forever and the and the silhouette of the grain elevator against it. And I said, but this is dramatic too. Yeah. So I started to write uh, some children's plays. The first one I wrote was uh, uh, a play uh, called Sarah's Play, uh, okay. which was about uh, a kid whose family, uh, uh, whose uh, friends uh, had abandoned her. And she wished that she could have all the power in the world. Mm -hmm. And she got it uh, through a set of circumstances that I won't go into now. <laughs> uh, I see the plan. But the, the question then becomes, what do you do with the power? Does mm -hmm. that solve your problem? Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, so anyway, there was a whole series of, uh, of plays set either... Uh, 
among these sort of Canadian kids or right. in small uh, Saskatchewan towns. And then they asked me to be their writer in residence, which I, and they put me on the, on the staff.